Greetings, my melting metallic motion designers. You may have seen my latest project, in which I have quite a bit of incandescent metal, which was created using a very simple procedural technique in Arnold Renderer. So grab your oven mitts, because things are about to heat up. So here's the basic scene. I have the classic Stanford bunny sitting in a marble room with a couple of lights surrounding it. The material on the bunny is currently some form of dark metal, and I've just got one image texture going into the specular color and the specular roughness. The whole incandescent effect relies on the curvature shader, so let me create one of those nodes. So if we then take that curvature shader and plug it straight into the beauty port, you can see that it calculates the curvature of the surface and returns that as a black and white map. And you can probably see how this can be useful. The only thing we really need to do with this is remap the brightness to colors. And the way to do that is using the ramp RGB node. So I'm going to create one of those and then using the alt key, I'm going to drag that on top of the curvature shader and insert that after using the input. So now if we change any of the colors in this ramp, it's going to control the color of our bunny rabbit. And already if we just add some red and some orange, it starts to look a little bit like an incandescent glow. But I have a saved ramp that's slightly more refined. And we could just leave it like this. No need to take it any further. But if you do want a bit more control over the temperature of our bunny, we could add a color correction node between the curvature and the ramp. And then if we use the gamma and exposure, we can heat the bunny up as well as cool it down. And these are probably the parameters I would animate if I was to animate the temperature of the bunny. Then all that's left is to plug our standard shader back into the beauty port and link our ramp into the emission color. Then as we turn up the emission scale, our bunny rabbit should start to glow. I like to keep that slightly over one just for a bit of extra intensity. And what's really good about this technique is that it works on pretty much any object. I've prepared a few bunny buddies here, one dragon buddy and one Buddha buddy. They both have the same material as the bunny and as you can see they too are on the verge of melting. You can somewhat change the look by tweaking the curvature shader. Right now I have it set to the default convex. The concave mode renders pretty much like ambient occlusion does. But then there is the combined mode, which I quite like. That's going to be a little bit darker because it essentially has both those maps at 50% opacity. So if we go into our color correction, we can change the gamma and just bring up the exposure. And that is basically it. More tutorials from some of the techniques in the still prize will be coming up. But until then... Thank you for your time, don't try this on live animals, and stay in motion. Christ.